Hey, it's Rick, creator of A Funnier You. Welcome back. In this video, we're talking about what do you do when a joke doesn't work? You don't get any laughs. Well, specifically, we're talking about troubleshooting. And frankly, most of my clients that I work with, we know within 90% certainty that a joke is gonna land. But when one of them contacts me and, and points out, this joke didn't quite get as big a laugh or, or this one got no laughs, what, what do we do? We go to the recording. I encourage you, every time you're speaking, record, even if it's just on your phone, in your pocket, and this is the reason why. For when you're trying to make and get a laugh, you have to use references that your audience knows. You have uh, to also be aware that some people won't laugh because they don't have enough information. Some people won't laugh because they have too much information or they're too close to the topic. So references have to be um, appropriate for the audience, otherwise they can't put the pieces together. One way that shows up in a speech or presentation is the fact that your words leading up to the punchline left your audience bit, a bit confused, so they're still back trying to figure out what you're talking about. And then when the punchline lands, their their mind is confused and they're behind you, right? So that's why we go to the recording is we make sure that leading into the punchline, there is a clear expectation, a clear image in the mind of the audience that there's no confusion. So that's the half of like the bell curve of the people who don't have enough information. One, the references you use, or maybe your setup wasn't clear in setting an expectation. On the other side, you have people who may know too much. They may have heard a similar joke, a similar rhythm. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side, no one laughs at that because it's, it's cliche and everybody's heard it. The other reason is maybe they're too close to it. They're clo too close to the topic. They they don't agree with the target, they don't agree with the subtext, right? And remember the, the subtext and the target are in the mind of the listener. So that could be some reason why. And those are the pieces that we look at when we're tailoring humor to a specific audience for a speaker or a presentation is we're looking at, we're going for that the big middle of the bell curve. You, you could consider it the Goldilocks principle, and I've referred to it that way before, is not too much, not too little, just right. Now, if you follow that, when you're troubleshooting your humor, you will improve, you will become a funnier you. Any comments, questions, anything you'd like me to clarify, drop those in the comments. I welcome you to be an active participant on this channel. I am creating all of these for you to help you grow and develop and become a funnier you. Till next time.